So today we are going to focus about camping. Other api reading lesson ne ke focus karane yanne camping gana. Question 1. Let's go camping. Look at the pictures and read the statements. State if the statements describe picture 1, picture 2, picture 3 or all 3. Okay? Right. There is a campfire. Now let's see. There is a campfire here. I can see that. Oh, there's a campfire here as well. I can see that. Can you see if there's a campfire here in picture three? Well, not really. There are a few tents here, but there's no campfire, no. So I would say it's in picture one and two. Okay. You can see it in picture one and two. The campsite is located by the sea. By the sea. Mm. This is, of course, this is a waterfall. This is not the sea. This is also like a little stream. You can see a frog, so it does not seem like that. But here you can see the sea, right? So picture number three. There are blue mountains in the background. Let's cut R, okay? So there are blue mountains in the background. Blue mountains in the background, really? Um, oh, here. Blue mountains in the background. Picture 2. Then colors, ogolo dhannava, mountains kiyane mukadde kila dhannava. E hinda tamay mam singhalen translate kara nethe. Mukadde api colors ud karala. Um, natural places gana vocab ud kara. The eight passe tamay mam reading passages kare. So it's important that you follow that structure. Vocab karala one ulo reading kara na. Mang hadala tiyan ne hemai kose ka hariya togolo grammar balala. Vocab balala, speaking balala, reading balala, right? A vidya te enno ne. There are many animals. Where can we see animals? Birds. Here we can, oh here. You can see a dog, you can see a porcupine, you can see a bird, you can see a fox, snake, right? Um, I would say picture number two. People are in a campsite. People are in a campsite. Here also you have a campsite here. One, two, three, I would say all three. Okay. All three. There is only children in the picture. Only children. Here there's only children. Here you have adults and children, adults and children. Only children. Lamai vitara kine picture one neke. A boy is riding a bike. Eke nehe. Deke nehe. Tune you can see a boy riding a bike here. So that is going to be three. A man and woman are sitting on a bench. Um, you can see here they are sitting on like a little bench here. Right, they are sitting on chairs here. I would say two. Devanika. The moon is shining. The moon is shining. The moon is here but the shining part is here like with the little white white things around it. I would say one. Okay. There is a waterfall here. Little waterfall like a Two. Right. Okay. There is snow on the mountain peaks. Mountain peaks well hima wage tiyana. Me tiyana hima wage. So one. I would say one. The little girl sees a hedgehog. Hedgehog can I da ke no me thi? Yeah. Number two, itavik, right? 
A tent is orange. Orange part of the tent tekak. This is red. Here you have orange. Here also you have a bit of orange tents. Huh? But it says only one tent. So here you have two, but here there is only one. So picture number two. A tent is orange. Ne? Ikaine? Two. There are some umbrellas. Um, yeah, umbrellas. Picture number three, Tuna. There are some stars in the sky. Stars in the sky. Yeah, you can see some stars. No? I would say again. These ones we could consider as stars probably, okay. Stars one. There is a dog in the front. Here there is a dog. Picture number two. A boy is playing the guitar. Boy can a guitar here. This picture here. Number two. Some people sleep in the caravan. There's a caravan. Where can we see? Ah, here, caravan. Samharaka nidaga ne caravan ne So, number three. There is a table next to the tent. Table le kakti, you know, tent ticket te happen. This one here. You can see the table here. Next to the tent. Okay. So, that is three again. Somebody is sailing, right? Me sail karaginyana that is of course picture three. Of you, right? Okay. Answer the questions true, false, or don't know. True nang letter T yeka, false nang letter F yeka, don't know question. Let's see. So we can see a nice picture here. Let's look at the questions. The kids are on the beach. Beach kanang when the bane loku gasti anava. So seems like like a forest or like a little jungle. Okay. So that is of course false. The teacher is standing behind the children. Lamai tika me ne teacher in lamai inge piti passe. That is true. The sun is shining. That is also true. The girl in the tent is seven years old. Atto like tent ka atto in lamai a seven years old. Apni dhanna va dekh vaisa kiya dekhe na. I don't know. So I'm going to put a question mark. The blonde girl's name is Anna. Blonde hai hai kati ena girl ke naam hai Anna. Man dhanna ma dekha. I don't know. So I'm going to put a question mark. There are four tents. One, two, three, four. Ika naam true. The teacher is young. I don't know. Young the old ki ana bear matter konde party. Muka the hammer vice ki na gum konde sudui ki ana bear matter. So I don't know his age. It's a Sunday. I don't know. That was some mama dan ne hai. The children are camping. That is of course true. The trees are high. Apni ki ana saamani trees are high ki. Apni muka the ki ana trees are tall usai, right? But they are tall actually, right? A better word to use would be the trees are tall. But they are high, I could say it's true. Alright. There are more girls than boys. Let's see how many, oops, how many girls are there? One, two, three, four, five. Boys, one, two, three. 
There are more girls than boys true. The three boys are siblings I don't know. The moon is in the sky. There is no moon in the sky so that I would say is false. The children will later go swimming in the lake. I don't know. Mama Danne Golamono the Pasikaranne Annikira. A boy does not wear a shirt. Let's see. Ah yes, there's one boy who is not wearing a shirt. That is true. In the meadow are small red flowers. So this is not a meadow. But here you can see some small red flowers. But I can't say that this is a meadow. So I would say it's false. A girl has her dog with her. Girl has her dog with her. No, false. One tent is purple. True. The yellow tent belongs to the teacher. I don't know. The parents of the children have come to Matapi in the nest, so I don't know. I don't know Matapi in the Right? Answer the question How many people are in the picture? So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, with the teacher 9. So you can say nine people. Where are they in a forest? Forest given. Why are they there for camping? Who is with the children? Probably a teacher. What is the weather like sunny? What season is it likely summer? What can you see in the background? Background is the pain. Mountains. What is the blonde boy wearing? Only a pair of blonde man, only a pair of shorts and shoes. He's wearing a cap, shorts and shoes. Right, okay. Look at the picture and read the description. Not everything is true. Find 16 mistakes and write the story correctly. Let's see. The Johnson family is on holiday in the mountains, not really. Right? Dad. This is not grandma. Who is this? Henry and Lynn. Okay. They also have their cat with them. Cat the main Dad is grilling sausages and mum is giving him tomatoes to grill. So he's probably grilling. Okay, let's say sausages, right? But he's definitely, she's not giving him tomatoes to grill. She's giving him corn, okay? Hen and Lynn are serving themselves. Lynn likes vegetables. I don't think she really likes vegetables, but okay. And Henry takes fruit. Does he take any fruit? No. There is wine to drink. 
Let me see what's there to drink. Um, not really. Okay. What is there to drink? On the lake is a blue sailboat. Tonight they will sleep in a hotel. Think about it. Mom is wearing a purple dress. No. Dad is wearing and dad is wearing jeans. Lynn has short black hair. Henry is smaller than Lynn. They also have a robot hull. He just caught a bird. So let's see how many um, mistakes we have. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so what I think we could do is have a look at this specific one here. Okay, I mean blue probably would be like this color. I mean looking at it, okay. So blue would be more like a blue blue color, right? So what is it here? Okay, and then probably looking at this, the sausages should be long and then these are more like flat. So I would say change this as well. So what kind of, you know, color and kind of boat? Okay, because like a sailboat is something like this. Let me just draw it for you here. It's more like something like this where you have that sailing kind of thing. My drawing is horrible, you know that by now, right? So think about it. The Johnson family is on holiday in where? You wouldn't say the mountains and then dad, mom and Henry and Lynn and rewrite it. Okay, so you could just write it on your own. I'm not going to write it for you. I want you to do it on your own. Alright, so now I hope you would have finished writing your answer. Let's have a look at a sample answer. Then maybe they are going to learn a puru, right? The Johnsons family is on holiday or vacation at a lake. Dad, Mum, Henry, and Lynn. They also have their dog with them. Dad is grilling hamburgers, and Mum is giving him corn to grill. Henry and Lynn are serving themselves. Lynn likes chicken and Henry takes hot dogs and hamburgers. There is fruit juice to drink. On the lake is a grey motorboat. Tonight they will sleep in the tent. Mum is wearing a purple skirt and Papa is wearing shorts or you can say green shorts. Lynn has long blonde hair. Henry is taller than Lynn. They also have a robot, Hal. He has just caught a fish. Okay? Right. Moving on, answer the questions. What pet does the Johnson family have? A dog. How many hamburgers does dad grill? Dad kia grill karanavada hamburgers. One, two, three, four, five. Can say five. What is mum wearing on her head? What is she wearing on her head? A hat. Cap pe kaak ne vei. Eka te kiyaane hat te kaak. Mum pe nu ogolon te clothes bo kaap karana kote. Hat te kai cap pe kai yatra venesa. Right? So, in case you cannot remember, you know, something like, oh, not really, no. Um, so, um, yeah, you know, the, some, the thing that you wear like this, okay, like the cap, okay. 
that bit is the cap and then the one that you wear like this is the hat okay so it's a hat what color is the tent what color is it um blue i would say okay that seems more like blue shades of blue right so we would just say blue what is the nationality of the family you can see that in the flags let's see well not really ah here yeah. you can see the nationality it's here so which nationality do you think they are from so looking at the flag they seem to be american which nationality american look what a pain in their flag we can roughly guess that they are american here okay i mean for the tent also if you want you can put blue and gray ni kan athle thiyena poda gray wage but if not that's fine okay right okay so moving on practice question 2 camping tools right read the following passage and answer the questions last summer Tony and his brother went camping with their mom. I think he had already the summer where Tony and they are so how they are camping here. I go along with my mom. They took so many tools with them, such as the compass, binoculars, and ropes. I think good luck, but you can each try go to take a compass, take a binoculars, saha ropes. Lano. They decided to set up. a uh, camp on a quiet spot surrounded by trees so they decided to set up a camp okay on a quiet spot e kiyanne camp ekak daanne kiyala thirane karan nishabda parisare eka usa gas thiyena their tent was shaped like an igloo igloo ekak wage me wenaka round tent ekak hadida thamai shape vela tibbe it was made of thin cloth ंग नेट का किंग आवरने करला थे बुने तो कोटा पोड़ी पोड़ी सातों उन्हें आतों उन्हें इन्ने बैरी बैन्ना। For cooking they had a little stove. वो यान ना पोड़ी कुक एक आक्ती बा। They had a tasty meal of barbecued chicken and corn under the trees. ये तीन ये गोरा रस्सा मर रस्सा मील लेका क्या है वा barbecued chicken सहा corn गस्स यात्रे इन्दर के नाता में barbecue वे के दम। Then the boys helped clean up. इटे पासे आस्करानु दाउ When it got dark, they made a fire. Right? When our parents say, "Go to the fire," they cook them. They told stories and sang songs. It was nice to be together under the stars. You think? Um, they go to the fire. They make a 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 fire. It had a door. It had a door. Can it? The tent. Tent. Take again. The tent. They used the blank to know the directions. Apni saman ning yana disha vandu na ganne compass seka king. Last summer the family. Last summer nang pass seka. Eta kote enjoys enjoy kyan ne present tense seka singular nang she enjoys. Plural, and they enjoy. It took a me they come in a bear. Enjoying, ki ane women part in a kriya work, right? It took a is was am amuka kari verb beka kita kaling thi and no ne supporting verb beka kiting ekat ne. Last summer enjoyed past tense ka so definitely see. They blank a delicious meal. Okay, so you have to think about the tenses and the form, right? 
they has eight pin ne ba. Mang kira dunna present perfect ek has have ve na mana past participle le no. Adverb frequency ke na mana ng has hari have we main verb be ka atar ata in no ne. Eto kote me already tiye na tiye na ng hari. Deng api balan no ne has the have the in ne. They na ng in no ne plural have. Eto kote me ka klara de. ඊට පස්සේ අපි බලන්න ඕනේ අගට තියෙන verb එක. ඒක වෙන්න ඕනේ past participle එක. eat වෙන්න බැහැ. eaten කියන එක තමයි past participle එක. So they have already eaten a delicious meal. ඒක තමයි උත්තරය. What will they use if they want to see far objects? දුර තියෙන object එකක් බලන්න ඕන මොකද්ද ඒගොල්ලන්ට පාවිච්චි කරන්න පුළුවන්. binoculars What did Tony and his family do when it got dark? Dark kunhama mukhaad de gulu kare. They made a fire. Were their windows covered with netting? Yes. Tibuna. There were three windows. Give a suitable title for the passage. Passage एक एक गैलप पे ना title लेकर आप देना. Summer holidays. How Tony spent his summer. Just you can come up with any name. Mama दान या ना. How Tony spent his summer holiday. You can come up with anything that you like as long as it's grammatically correct. All right. So moving on. Practice question three. Happy campus. Read about the family and answer the questions in full sentences. Right. Let's read and see. It is a lovely evening. The moon and stars are shining in a clear sky. Hari me lassan hen deva. Moon ne ka saha tharo. This ne ka hanava hase. It is not too cold and it is not raining. Godak si italat ne hai vahin net ne hai. This is the Walker family and they are camping. Me go on to kya ne Walker family ka kya le? Go lo camping hi la. They are sitting in front of their tent. Tent ke is sara hai ginte ke ni inna va. They have got a fire and they are cooking sausages. Mitna gini malayak tiye na ek sausages uye na ay galu. They are sitting on logs. Khota uda thamai vaadi vela inne. They are all happy and smiling. Hari ma sathu teng inne ham om sinamusu uona ki. But what happens if it gets really cold? Mukat veeni godak si thelo naat. They can go back into the house. Their tent is at the bottom of their garden, right? So, godak si thelo no te golo gedder te ano mukut me hadrati na tent te kati enne golonge vatta palle hai. Te golo gedder te enne uda ha godak si thelo no te golo gedder ay ano ma, right? What kind of evening is it? Okay, it is a lovely evening. It is. A lovely evening. What is the weather like? Weather ek mona wagi. The it is not too cold and it is not raining. It is not too cold and. It is not raining. Who are the people? Kau the megalo. They are the Walker family. They are the 
uh, book uh, family. What are they doing? They are camping. They are camping. Where are they sitting? They are sitting in front of their tent. Okay. They are sitting in front of their tent. How do they feel? Um, they feel happy because they're all smiling, okay? They feel happy. Where is their tent? Their tent is just at the bottom of their garden. Their tent... is just at the bottom of their garden. What can they do if it gets cold? They can go back into the house. Okay. If it gets cold, they can go back um, into the house, into the house, right? They are full sentences. Full sentences, Leanne Q. Methian. Make it a my complete sentence, taking Liu Utre, right? See if the following sentences are true or false and correct the false ones. There are four people in the family. Hatra de Nekne de Inne. One, two, three, four. That is true. They are all wearing trousers and jumpers. So yes, they are all wearing trousers and jumpers. Hamoma jumper that is true. They are eating fish and chips false. What are they eating? They are eating sausages. Okay. So they are eating. They have got hot drinks. Um, not really, no. There's inside this. I think they have some cold drinks. Okay, they have cold drinks. It is a cloudy night. Um, no, it's not a cloudy night. It's got a clear sky. Cloudy ne. Hari. Wala kulu sahitane clear sky ye kak. False. There is a clear sky. There are houses behind the tent. No, I can't see any houses. I can see trees. False. There are trees behind the tent. 
Libby is jumping on the log. I'm not sure if her name is Libby, but if it is, yes, that's true, right? Action ekanang true, so we can say it's true. John is sitting next to mum. Probably the son, yes, it says John and Libby. Ah, yes, there we have the name, so yes. Okay, true, John is sitting next to mum, true. They all look sad, false, they are all smiling and they look happy, okay? All right, so let's have a look at the next question. Practice question four. My scary camping experience. Matavitsha, bayanaka camping adakima, right? Put the correct verb and put the verbs into the past simple tense. Hari vachani aragena, past simple tense form making lian, right? Okay, so let's see. When I was a young boy, I, the scouts, okay, which word do you think should come in? Taniyam karana balana, we'll discuss the answers after that. One summer we went camping, we to Ardan Muchan in Scotland, okay. It is wild country with lots of forest and wonderful beaches. There were no villagers for miles and miles. There were two scout masters and 20 of us. It was an exciting, it was exciting and fun. One night I went to sleep as usual. Then a strange man, his head in my tent. He blank scary. His hair was long and dirty. His eyes were wide and bloodshot. His clothes were ragged and hanging off him. I blank the man. He was not one of our group. I could not understand where he had come from. He blank nothing, but he beckoned for me to follow him. Then he blank up to the mountains. He blank his mouth and gave a blood-curdling scream. I did too. I blank loudly and then I blank up. It was a bad dream, but my scream woke everybody up. One of the scout masters blank and three or four boys. They asked me what happened. When I blanked them about my dream, their faces went pale. It turned out that night everyone blanked the same dream with a small difference. They all blanked that the strange man had come into my tent. I never went camping again. Okay, so it was a scary experience. So there's a man who had come. Hamoma bayuna, hamoma hitu eka hi neak kira ha bayan tu balana kota. Eka hi hi neak mane vei. Atta me manusya vele tiye na kira ha mai hamoma hitu. Mokote hamoma hi ne dakala thi bolite. Tere eka hi neak pe ne back ne kata mai gulo hitan, right? All right. So complete the gaps and then let's check the answers, right? So we have to have a look at the answers. Now this is the first bit, right? The second bit and the third bit. So, Ogola Vela Varagan Chutta Kitapasa Anseka Karan, right? And I hope you would have completed it by now. So, if we have a look at the answers, here are the answers joined, went, poked, looked, did not recognize, said, pointed, opened, screamed, woke, came, told, had, dreamt. Right? So basically, those are the answers. You can say, when I was a young boy, I joined the Scouts. One summer we went camping, we went to Scotland. It is wild country with lots of forest and wonderful beaches. There were no villagers for miles and miles. There were two Scout Masters and 20 of us. It was exciting and fun. One night, I went to sleep as usual. Then a strange man poked his head in my tent. He looked scary. His hair was long and dirty. His eyes were wide and bloodshot. His clothes were ragged and hanging off him. I, number five, um, did not recognize. 
the man. He was not one of our group. I could not understand where he had come from. He said nothing, but he beckoned me to follow him. Then he pointed to the mountains. He opened his mouth and gave a blood curdling scream. I did too. I shouted loudly and then woke up. It was a bad dream. My scream woke everybody up. One of the three scoutmasters came and three or four boys. They asked me what happened. When I told them about my dream, their faces went pale. It turned out that everyone had the same dream with a small difference. They all dreamt the strange man and had come into my tent. I never went camping again. That was a different experience. Right? Okay, so your answers are here. Let's answer the questions. When did this incident happen? Kavad the make a siddha Um, one summer. Okay, so. Where did they go? They went to the specific place, Ardana Machan. in Scotland okay right what is it like there in Scotland so it is wild country with lots of forest and wonderful beaches okay it is wild country So forest. How many people went on the trip? So it was two scout masters and 20 of us, so 22 people. Okay, so 22 people. Who poked his head into the boy's tent? Um, a man. Okay, a strange man. Right. What did the stranger look like? Koi vage the stranger. His hair was long and dirty. Okay. So how did he look like? His hair was long and dirty. His eyes were wide and bloodshot. His clothes were ragged and hanging off him. That's how he looked like. Okay. Right. Next one. Where did the strange man point? He pointed at the mountains. At the mountains. Did everyone wake up? Yes, because of the scream. Who came to check the boy after his dream? Kaudave. Um, scout masters. And three or four boys. Okay, scout masters. And three or four boys. What happened when he told about when he told the group about his dream? dream their faces went pale. Their faces 
went here. Sudhu mele ona. What did the others dream? They dreamt of the same man. How many times did he go camping after that? Never. Right? Okay, all right, so let's have a look at the next question. Practice question five, field trips. Camp Sunshine is a favorite vacation place for young people. Think Camp Sunshine, can I remember Camp Sunshine, young Katya, and I'm going to tell you. Every year, hundreds of boys and girls from all over the world come to this exciting camp. It's a lot of people who are in the world. गहन दरु सा पिरिमी दरु एनवा में कैंप पे कटर। Every morning the campers help with the chores, right? You think सामान्य तीन वैद्य वर्टे हम वो में कैंपर्स लो उदाव एनवा। They work in the kitchen and in the cabins. ये गोलो खुशी सा कैबिन्स देखे में वैद्य करनवा। In the afternoon they can do things they like doing: swimming, riding horses, canoeing, climbing, hiking. But there is no television, no phone, no shops. Um, and no cars, okay? So here is a nice place. Egalonta Udevaru Kusi, whenever to the Venava cabin, Sudakaran, the Venava house, the Tegula cabin, the Deva Karana Pulwang. Swimming and the Pulwang, Ashwe Padin, the Anna Pulwang, canoeing, Kian, and Nikan Kano Killer, boat Jati Akthina, Yana Pulwang, like you know, in a like a ship, like a boat, you can go in the lake, okay? Climb karan yaan na pulwaang, hiking yaan na pulwaang, hebe ekam adhe, TV, phone, kada, car na hai. Camp Sunshine is in Oregon. It is a beautiful, quiet valley, one kilometer from the Pacific Ocean. You think Oregon ki na ta na tamay meka tiyan ne, kilometer rak vitra Pacific saagare nge ha. It is open from April to October every year. Apre si ta October dakwa hai ma aurudda ka mera la tiyan wa. Mark Wasp, the camp manager, says young people love Camp Sunshine. They learn to live together and have fun. It is Mark Wasp say ke manager ke noa la mai hari ma kamati Camp Sunshine ne kate golo purudu ve noa ekate indala we know deng inna. They can, they can't. So what can they do, right? Um, they can work in the kitchen. Okay. They can go swimming, right? So they can go swimming. Horse riding. Mm. Canoeing. Climbing. Hiking. What can't they do? Can't watch television. Use the mobile phone. Can't go shopping. And they can't drive because there are no cars, obviously. Okay. Karana Puluang, go swimming, horse riding, canoeing, climbing, hiking. They can't watch television, use the mobile phones, go shopping, and they can't drive because there are no cars. Okay. Right. Read the text carefully. My class is taking a field trip to a campground next week. Mange pamti aya campground day kate yana wa labana safi. I'm very excited because we are going to learn how to pitch a tent. Mange harimma excite pe la inne. Moko dapi purudu ve nne yana wa tent te kaak pitch karan. If the weather is nice and cool, we can even start a campfire and roast some marshmallows. I think bedeka hondahe nang. 
අපිට කැම් ෆයර් එකකුත් පටන් ගන්න මාෂ්මැලෝස් රෝස්ට් කරන්න පුළුවන්. We will leave the trip at 8 a.m. and get to the camp site by 10 a.m. අපි පිටත් වෙන්නේ උදේ 10 8ට 10 වෙනකොට කැම්ප් සයිට් එකට යන්න පුළුවන්. I have a new book to read on the bus about natural heritage. ඉතින් මට අලුත් පොතක් තියෙනවා බස් එකේ කියවන්න natural heritage ගැන. I prepared a gym bag with all the things that I would need. මම gym bag එක ලෑස්ති කරගත්තා මට අවශ්‍ය කරන ඔක්කොම බඩු එක. A flashlight, a sleeping bag, a knife and some dried food. Our teacher will show us how to identify poisonous animals and plants in the woods. I think teacher apita ugannanawa um haani kara sattu saha gas warga anduna ganne kohomada kiyala. The trip will teach us about nature and what it is like to live without many things from the modern world. I think trip ekak apita kiyala denawa kohomada subadahamath ekke inne kiyala. Eeta amatharawa me apita me thiyena technology world ekin aath vela jeevath wenne kohomada kiyala. All right. So moving on to the questions. Where is the class field trip going to be? So where is it going to be? It's going to be at a campground. Okay, at a campground. Why is the boy excited to be on this trip? Okay, because. He is going to learn how to pitch a tent. Okay, because he is going to learn how to pitch a tent. What are the items that the boy has prepared to take with him? Ona dia daagena tiyena upakaranayath ekka geniyanne. A flashlight, a sleeping bag, a knife and some dried food. Okay? So let's write it down. A flashlight. A sleeping bag, a knife, and some dried food. How much time does the way take to reach the campsite? Two hours. Ata te pita tu no. The higher to it then to your knee in the two hours, or you can say two hours. We can say two hours. Okay. So, what is the boy going to learn in this camping trip? Right. So, he's obviously going to learn how to pitch a tent and how to identify poisonous animals and plants in the woods. Okay. So he's going to learn two things. Um, one is how to pitch a tent, and that is why he was excited, and also to identify poisonous animals and plants in the woods. Okay, so two things: how to pitch a tent, and how. to identify poisonous plants and animals in the woods What modern world features do you think the boy meant? Um, use like you know technology. Example: phone, computers, those kind of one. Okay. Support a meaning for the underlined words in the article. Pitch. 
a tent. You can pitch a tent. Heritage. Um, you can say natural heritage. Natural heritage. Put the following vocabulary word in a meaningful sentence. Complain. Um, he complained. About the weather. Yeah, complain. Can you true get about weather again? Next one, rugged. Okay. So next one is rugged. Okay, and rugged is like uneven, but broken. Okay, so you can say it was a rugged. Coastline. Okay? Pick out from the text two adjectives. Visheshana Pada Deka. Um new a new book. And poisonous animals. Okay, next one, tell whether the following statements are true or false. The boy wasn't excited, that is of course false, he was excited, okay. The boy prepared a suitcase, no, what did he prepare? He prepared a gym bag. Koteka Varadi. The teacher will teach only about poisonous animals? Wrong. She will also teach about poisonous plants. The trip will teach children about nature and how to live without things of what? Um, technology, right? So, the trip will teach children about nature and how to live um, without things of technology. Let's say technology. Or without things of modern life, without things of modern life, right? So let's take modern life. That is going to be true. Okay? All right. So I think we've completed that lesson where we had a look at true, false, not given. We had a look at matching activities. It was more like comprehension questions done a lot here in this lesson, okay? So with that, and I also gave you a little para to write, to correct the errors, okay? And matching activities. So I think with that, we've come to the end of this lesson where we had a look at different reading passages under the topic camping. Mm -hmm.